What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 20 or part 20 whatever and today's topic will be how we can create markups within your pdf file using report lab hyperlink markup so I think in the last video we have discussed about uh, bold uh, underline strike through strong all these sort of markups now I think only uh, I means italic and href is pending so in this video we're going to talk about what is href and we can use href okay so href is a tag which is used um, mostly in all of you uh, i think all of you not all of you probably 90 percent of you are already familiar of some sort of like markup language like html or um, similar like css or if uh, some um, I, I think definitely you guys heard about html and all i'm not going to decide uh, sorry i'm not going to discuss about html and css in this video but this is kind of a hyperlink like suppose in the text you have written something and you would like to uh, like provide some sort of like clickable facility so that user can uh, redirect it automatically to that url so that is called hyperlink so a step tag is used uh, i think in html and css mostly all of uh, you those are coming from engineering or any sort of like having like development experience are familiar with this but if someone is not having don't worry we can create this thing so first our use case will be how to create half a link using HTTP markup okay so first thing first let me write the code first so it will be from from report lab dot T first import what happened okay so I, I think I did some mistake yes okay simple doc template and another one will be thing paragraph or this one okay and the next one will be from report lab dot lead dot styles Port get sample style sheet. So now we'll create one PDF object. So PDF document PDF document object more or less. So this is going to be simple doc template. Simple doc template, and within this we should write tutorial twenty dot PDF. Okay. We'll create some sort of like flow object. Flow underscore obg is null list or blank list we will create styles equals to get sample style sheet okay okay and the text will be uh, let's give it like this uh, if you want to learn report lab from the basic basic then we'll put some sort of like break here probably basics then please click the link here okay so what I'll do we'll mark off here actually or here actually okay so we'll put a href equals to I'll give you my Udemy link that is HTTPS www.udemy 
dot com slash report lab okay and we'll like this and we'll use like this okay that's it so this is what is going to happen it will write this to in a two different line and in this click the link here it will be kind of in here actually will be the here word will be kind of hyperlink so there is nothing here so let's run this thing oh, okay sorry i just forgot to uh, i just forgot to create this thing right so let's create one para text and that is going to be like paragraph graph the text and the style will be tyle styles and it will be normal then our flow object will will be appended by this thing paratext and after that we'll just uh, put this thing here so pdf dot build is going to be flow dot object so that's all so if you run this thing there will be what happened exception object has no attribute i'm not sure what happened if you want to learn something happen from the basic then please dot com something wrong happened here ho 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 i'm not sure what is hap what has happened here it should have this here slash a okay and paragraph if not okay 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 what is happen has no support okay build it is going to be build actually so that is the error done so let's let me just thing okay so see if you want to learn report lab from the basics please click here so this link is actually hyperlinks if you see if it's it's happening here but it is n now it is not okay let me click this thing first see it is loading the report lab tutorial whatever currently i'm doing from the udemy so this is fine okay so but but if you okay just forget about that if you click here it will it must show you the link okay so that's the thing but the thing is that it is mm, not like kind of uh, visible normally that there is some sort of hyperlink available or not so for that you what you can do you can write something like uh, okay let me just uh, kind of put this thing here okay this is one use case is done okay so let me just take a screenshot of this thing okay so i will put this thing here actually picture from file okay so the next is how to create hyperlink using href markup with color okay so we need some sort of color now so for that probably let me open it here so what i'll do i'll put some sort of color here color equals to let's give it red and let's run this thing now okay see now it is actually 
very much easier to understand and anyone can say there should be there should be there should be some sort of uh, hyperlink okay so this is one use case so let me take another screenshot but guys don't worry i'll upload the source code as a single source file uh, and you can definitely get the url or the github link from the video description okay so i'm just doing it, this thing in the ppt for the reference if someone is uh, not having or not getting much time to go ahead and like watch the whole tutorial so for them probably the slide is easier to understand okay okay so next thing is that HTML markup with color and some sort of underline so what I'll do we can create some sort of underline here you 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 and okay so that's it probably let's run this thing now done so let's see c underline is also here so the final code will be mm, i'm just thinking yes it is fine now so probably we can take a screenshot now yes so screenshot is there so let me just upload this thing now yes that's it very simple tutorial guys but very unique and very useful suppose you are uh, developing some sort of report and where you have the requirement of hyperlink with some sort of color and some sort of underline thing then that time this uh, inter markup tags or inter paragraph markup tags will be very much useful and trust me guys all the uh, different uh, like reporting uh, project or reporting uh, engine those are actually available within the internet most of them use uh, this sort of markup things or structure or template so this is very useful guys you can practice or you can create some sort of nice looking reports probably uh, I, I can give you one uh, like idea or one uh, use case you can try uh, like i i followed the same technique when i was used to learn report lab like let's say one year back so whenever I uh, like it was like one year or two year or probably one and a half year ago whenever I used to get some sort of report or PDF document uh, like uh, via link uh, or uh, email or in the internet while browsing something I just download uh, I, I just downloaded all those report okay I used to download all those report and after that I I was uh, kind of uh, I tried to figure out how to like uh, simulate the same report in in my case like uh, suppose i'm learning pdf and report lab so I, I i tried to create the same report using all these libraries or all all, all, all this my uh, using my limited knowledge that time i'm having def definitely limited knowledge by that by by this time also i'm having very limited knowledge and i'm a uh, knowledge i'm not saying that i'm expert i'm still learning and learning with you guys so so you can uh, you can you guys can do the same thing whenever you guys are getting any uh, like report or pdf or any link any structured template try to simulate the same thing using your own logic using your using your own technique using your own design pattern using your own uh, like way of writing code but try to use report lab then only we'll develop some sort of intuition or deep intuition towards uh, creating nice looking reports so ultimately if you are go and write this uh, paragraph creation one line two line uh, hyperlink then you say that i know report left that doesn't make any sense until and unless you are not like getting something uh, where you are actually monetizing your content or you are getting some sort of like visibility then only it will actually uh, help you to grow in a better uh, like aspect so 
that is the main thing so enough of talking guys uh, hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and if someone is watching this uh, video for the first time please subscribe to our youtube channel as well so that you should uh, get the notification on the timely manner and if you are watching this video from udemy my course guys thanks for subscribing thanks for buying this course it will actually uh, helping me to develop more contents and if you have any feedback suggestion complaint demand whatever just write me i will try to incorporate all these changes from the next video so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day